Howdy, friends. I just want to um, let me remove my gum. <laughs> I forget sometimes when, I, when I'm talking, like, <sighs> so I really appreciate the YouTube community and you all who like follow my videos because it is not the same for Facebook. Facebook to me is just a lost. It is such, I don't know what is going on in Facebook. It's like, maybe like, it, maybe not just Facebook, but it's just the, the, the deception that people accept and the delusion that people defend. It is, it's crazy. Like I have a buddy who says, you know, Aaron, they're in 3D. Can't be arguing with people in 3D. And it's like, well, but did I not come out of 3D myself? And I have to self-evaluate and self-analyze and, and continuously wake up over and over and over. And there's always just that one little pinch. But so I don't know if you guys saw like Kanye West saw Trump yesterday and I don't know if I'm just like crazy because I really don't see the problem. I only see what people make of as problems because there's someone that they just don't favor because he's just a, you know, a gruddy old man who's grumpy. Okay, I get it. But it's just the moral biases of people that I really don't understand how they cannot accept that and it's not like I'm praising Kanye. I just think the moves that he's making are trying to waken people up. And it's just like, if you're not woke enough, you're not really getting what's happening. You're having someone who everyone's accusing as being on the dark side, having a mental issue. He, he worships Satan, he's in the music industry. It's like, but you buy his music, so what's the problem? You can buy his music, but it's not okay for him to make a statement about, you know, um, bringing peace to a community of people that is tormented or, you know and then on a, lo on a global level he was talking about prejudice like people need to stop being prejudiced like I just thought it was it, it, to me being who I am a non-judgmental you know old soul I thought that was very uh, brave and admirable of someone to like I make peace with if he's a dark I don't, I don't look at that. It's just, it, it's like what we in the Christ movement are supposed to validate is that when we see something in truth, we are to, to love it. We are to love that the truth is emerging itself. And then the hand of the father is always there as well. But it, it's like when people don't believe that's, that's the part where, you know, when you think about the rapture and is going to be separating those who didn't believe with those who do you're kind of understanding what's happening right now those who just refuse to accept and believe that things are transmuting for the purpose of our divine journey they're going to get booted over there months ago i called this the split because i knew the split was coming um and those who can say, you know what, I'm content with my heart. I love my journey and what, you know, bring on the drama of this journey, but I still accept it with a whole heart. We're being put over there. This has nothing to do like with um, the context of what many Christian leaders are saying, which is you got to live right. You got to do this right. You can't sin. You can't do it. Do, do, you got to be perfect. And then you're going to float in the sky into a cloud and you know go on to heaven <clears throat> that's just sort of like the uh exaggerated version but on a conscious level because we're we're you know we're conscious beings in a conscious reality uh, supernatural events don't really happen like how we think they are going to happen they happen on a conscious metaphysical level we can't see it but we can feel it. And sometimes that shifting emerges us into our 5D, where then we'll start to see those things on a supernatural level. 
but people on my Facebook page, like people who like followed me for years, been my friend for years since like grade school, they really do not understand this Aaron. And it drives me crazy because they always assume I'm just a careless person or they just kind of put me in the category of gay black man, so he's liberal. And then because they assume I'm, you know, part of the uh, demon craps that, um, you know, when I say something outside of the group of the demon craps, um, they want to, uh, you know, burn me at the state. So it's just like, I don't know, just when you keep telling people, like, I have my own independent thoughts. I am my own soul. I understand my complete journey of life. And I'm here to show you the doorway. <laughs> and they still don't believe you. People resist accepting change. And they, ex they resist accepting truth. And they defend the lies until the cows come home. And I'm just sort of like really fed up. Like my nerves are really pushed yesterday. <clears throat> because I have a friend who uh, moved to Hawaii and they had all these like hurtful words and I kind of said some hurtful things back like it wasn't towards the person but it was just like you know you're part of the blind and I'm sorry that you're offended that you're blind but you're blinding yourself like if someone is saying that consciousness brought you know let's just say how it is consciousness brought Trump to the White House it's what we have to deal with how can you integrate with it? How can you make peace with yourself about the things that you may not be comfortable with? That's how you evolve your being. That's how we evolve. But if you keep getting what you want all the time, you don't grow. That's why when parents say, oh, you're not going to get this toy until you do your chores. It's the same concept. It's funny the things that we teach our children and learn for ourselves, but then we don't want to follow it as an adult. <laughs> um, I don't, I tell no lies, man. Uh, but it just breaks my heart because I was really close to deleting my Facebook. I still am considering deleting it because there's just no purpose for me being there when people do not accept me as a person. Or they don't accept my soul. I have my my beautiful souls group on Facebook. And even on there, like, I don't have people talking to each other about their journeys. It's just like, why have a group of four or five hundred people when you guys cannot... You're not getting... It's like, ugh. I'm just so frustrated about the, 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 the naive and ignorance of certain people... And I, I'm trying to be patient with it. But how many times can someone go through so much affliction in their life? And and that's supposed to be the example for others to say, oh, oh, and then they wake up. But people don't understand they're putting that endurance on people like me because they're unwilling to see something for what it really is. And you try to part from them and separate yourself from them, but then... In the life cycle that we all have, timelines merging, they come back. And it's like, why are you back? Ah. But my heart went out to someone yesterday because, you know, we, we go back to a time where we were both criticized. We were both judged. And we were both like in the sixth grade. And there was a moment of uh, validating each other at that point of life. And we had, that's all we had was compassion for each other. And um, that's what really gave us motivation and hope and, and surviving the bullies and, and whatnot. But we shouldn't be coming against each other now. And that's, I hope it was justified this morning uh, in a conversation that we can, can remember that we too were in that spot of trying to, to stand up for what we felt was life. And people came against us. So I hope you guys are inspired this morning. I really wish you all a, a great Friday. Um, 
I'm taking some time to ground today because there was just too much I received this whole week and I'm kind of emotionally exhausted and physically exhausted. The ascension symptoms are really increasing too, if you guys haven't noticed. Like, I'm finding it very hard to get out of bed. <laughs> and you can hear my voice, I'm kind of like exhausted, but I'm still inspired and encouraged. I love you all very much. And um, I'm going to put in another hour of work and I'm done for the day. Kind of. Anyways, have a good day.